My name is Ronald Barbosa. Uh, people call me Ron. I'm a photographer. Uh, I used to be a school teacher. I taught for 35 years, but I've been photographing for almost 50 years. For all these years, I've been documenting Cape Verdeans in America and the Cape Verde Islands. It's my life's journey. My first trip to Cape Verde was in 1976, the year after independence. And I've been to almost every village in Cape Verde, photograph all aspects of life there. I think it's important to know where you came from. And a lot of Cape Verdean history has been buried and not discussed. I went to college in Baltimore, Maryland. I had a track scholarship I ran. I began to look up about Cape Verde and encyclopedias and there was no information, no photographs. After I graduated, I had this dream about going to Cape Verde and I ended up going to Africa first. And there's an island there called Gori and it's a slave island. Slaves were brought there from the continent, put into this prison there and they went through what they call a door of no return. I went there in 1972 and I photographed it. It was a moving experience. When I came back from Cape Verde the first time in 76, I did a slideshow and I called it Slipping Into Darkness. It was about Africa and Cape Verde. At the end of the showing, people came up to me and some people were crying because they had left Cape Verde 50 or 60 years before that and have never seen the islands. And so that was a source of, of inspiration. I've had a lot of high points. In 1995, I did a, an exhibit at the Smithsonian about Cape Verde. I did an exhibit at the World's Fair in 1992. When the president of Cape Verde came to America in 83, I was an official photographer at that time, and I went to the White House and photographed him and Reagan. I think that I'm grateful to receive this funding from Artnet. It will help me to advance my goal toward doing a book on Cape Verde. This is what I first wanted to do from that first trip to Cape Verde in 76. And I know that the funding that I receive is helping me to go on that path. It's gonna provide me with that opportunity to make prints, to lay them out and select them. It'll help me to purchase Photoshop, which I don't have. This book that I'm planning to do, I wanna have it done by 2025. That will be the 50th anniversary of independence for Cape Verde. I don't want it to be like an average book. I'm hoping to do something extraordinary. It'll be the first book done by a Cape Verdean American photographer. Everybody knows how much I love the islands and I love my culture. And I think my work shows that. It's not just that person you're photographing, it's their reaction to you and how they accept you. So it says a lot about the photographer. Their reaction to me is that reaction of love that comes back.